humans hunters and gatherers so how did the human evolution start it started gradually slowly over a period of million years so first human being looked somewhat like chimpanzee then year by year generation over generation evolution had come and then it became a complete human that is homo sapien human being belongs to the family homo sapiens scientific name of human being is homo sapien this gradual evolution change from chimpanzee to human being took over a million years so human actually at first evolved from africa also the natural conditions they modified them to suit according to their requirements they used to live a very simple life early human beings were nomads they hunted animals they gathered fruits nuts and roots to eat and they used to live in caves and clothes were made from the bark of the trees animal skins and animal furs and the tools they used the weapons they used that were made up of stones and bones so this is how they used to hunt in the early age so let's see about different periods of human history so humans mainly used stone tools so when stone tools were used it was known as stone age this stone age is again divided into three ages that is old stone age paleolithic middle stone age mesolithic and new stone age that is neolithic then the stone age ended and then started the usage of metals metals metal weapons were used then came copper stone age or chalcolithic age this is the timeline of stone age stone age was divided into paleolithic or old stone age mesolithic or middle stone age and neolithic or new stone age let's study about the types of stone ages the first one is old stone age or paleolithic age so this was from 5 lakhs bc to 10000 bc So this is also known as Paleolithic age. The human beings were hunters and gatherers during this period. They moved in groups because the population was growing from day by day. They couldn't stay at one place. So they started moving over distances and then the dead human beings were buried in different different ways and then they became to and then they started showing many habits of modern people and the weapons and tools were made up of crude stones and stone flakes. then was a then they discovered something called spheroid it was a stone ball and it was used to attack animals from a great distance animals were attacked for the purpose of food and then for cutting animals they had axes and large flakes the shelter and the clothing how was it during the old stone age animal skins the barks of the trees and the leaves these were used to make the clothing and they lived in caves trees or natural rock shelters so you see this is a natural rock structure of a old stone age this is a cloth made up of animal skin fur etc how was the art and discovery of fire during the old stone age so at the time was old stone age was ending then next is middle stone age or mesolithic age so this is the transition period between old and new stone age and this period lasted from 1000 to 8000 bc and in which state of india was the mesolithic age it was karnataka rajasthan andhra pradesh madhya pradesh and how can we say how was the mesolithic age because till date we have burial sites tools caves and rock paintings from these sources we came to know of the mesolithic age so invention of wheel was an important feature and how the lifestyle changed during the mesolithic age the climate change became warmer and drier so these climate change brought changes in animal life as well as the plant life people started hunting and gathering the food so that they can preserve the food for future use they learned to tame animals and grow crops so agriculture also started they understood the value of seed and some grasses like wheat and barley dog was the first tamed animal and then the rock paintings are till date found in uttar pradesh bihar madhya pradesh andhra pradesh and rajasthan which belong to the middle stone age so this middle stone age agriculture started and this is the image of stone age harvesting How were the tools and implements during the Middle Stone Age? Large axes known as spheroids and microliths and very small stone tools, very small stone tools were also found. And these microliths were only three centimeters in size. And the tools were made up of bones, wood, 
or horns of the animals these tools helped hunting become easier and hooks and baits were also next new stone age or neolithic age so around 8000 bc middle stone age finished and new stone age started so this people of the new stone age again started using stone for the tools and earth's climate was warmer during this period and then they also learned how to train the animals so that they can useful for human beings and in a neolithic age the people living close together they had to cooperate so they created some rules to live so that they can live together and get along each other and they also specialized in skills other than farming practice so this is an image of a new stone age where dog was tamed and then domestication of animals started other practices were started other than farming so next is charcoalithic stage it is also known as the copper stone age because the use of metal has started and the weapons were made up of both stone as well as the copper and the things that were invented in the charcoalithic age are plow wheeled cart and the sailboat